Right, good evening, uh, welcome back to Custom Tom. And uh, we're on the third day of uh, taking things apart on this. And as you can see, the wheel spins really nice. The calipers are up there still. I need to rebuild the left hand side one. So I've got to do the rear one, but first I'm going to take the forks out. And to do that, because the pinch, the pinch bolt here is broken, it seized. I'm going to take all of it, all the front end off to work and drill it through and whatnot. So what I need to do is jack the jack it up so I can I've got enough uh, height to get this all the way down because as you can see, I just about fit my fist there. And it's only halfway up there, so I'm not going to get the front end off. If I could get the wheel off, then I'd be able to get everything out easily. But I'd still need to jack it up anyway. So what I'm going to do, I've drained the coolant up. So what I'm going to do is, uh, take the radiator off, and take the headers off, take the exhaust off. I've got a new bench that I've built uh, today, which will be uh, put in soon. But for now, I just need to get the. I just want to crack on with this because people are asking me to do jobs for them now and all that kind of stuff. So I want to crack on with this and then start helping other people with uh, their stuff, what they need for their cars. I'm going to take a picture of that first because you can mix them up easily. Well, I mean, uh, here is a um, the spill off hose, the overflow hose, rather, and uh, the hose to the pump. You don't mix them up, I'll say you're going to have a world of trouble, aren't you? you? Won't bleed up properly or run properly. I'll cool properly, not run. Come on. Now it's a nice day today. So I'm half expecting my, my lad to come knocking on soon. <laughs> Don't really want him to come in because he gets in the way. He's only five. Hit four rather. He's only four blasting. But yeah, he jumped half get in road. <laughs> Have a look at this caliper now. 
all dried, rebuilt. That's not, not too bad, that. It's nice. Can't wait to get it on, bleed it up and test it. Keep it there for now. I don't want anyone wincing here, I'm only... I'm not forcing the pipe off of this screwdriver, I'm just working around to crack it off. Oh, this is full of water, this is. Clean off a bit more. Alright, get me a bucket. Not to going everywhere. even uh, have a look into getting new houses for it be another job there I'll, I just want to get it on the back on the road now really So I've got to keep checking the camera because every five, six minutes it starts to turn off. That's why some of you here are quite jumpy. So if uh, my video does stop and uh, you miss about ten minutes, it's, that's why. There is two 10mm bolts at the top bracket, one this side, one the other side, and the other side on the rear is where the horn mounts. And that's something I'll be putting on when everything goes back together. So I'll put these on the deck for now. I'll be able to I'll remember to put them back on the mounts when I'm done. Right. Oh, no, it's gone everywhere. Yeah, the heat. Need toilet now. Oh, me, me lad's got a song in me head. It's called uh, "True and the Magic Magical uh, 
True and the Rainbow Kingdom on Netflix. He's, he's just watching that at the moment with his, his mother. And it's in my head, I can't get it out. So I might put music on in a bit. <laughs> Diagrams on CN, SNL, or whatever. There we are. Come on, the fan. Penis. No, it's like that. Daniel there is setting the fan. The fan is pulled off. It's always something, isn't it? Getting through that bit now. Clean that up out the way. Horrible that is. Absolutely horrible. Now let's move camera. As you can see, it's on jacks. Probably should have cracked things off this, but I forgot. It's on the jack. Wheel's free. Now this is a good opportunity to check. This is how you check your steering bearing. 
this shape is the suspension on it so I'm only doing it very softly because it's on this jack stand here but when I'm done got this off and then put the axle stand underneath it which also gave me a good ba uh, solid base to knock the bottom the uh, bearing race out so what I'm going to do now is loosen things off take off this uh, top fairing mount first so what I need now the arm key bits my socket socket got where I put me put the wrench ratchet wrong size This also has the clip mounts for the, and also my AP grips here, clip mounts for, I'll make a better here for that really, for the fairing card thing, I don't know what you call it, the black thing between a fairing and frame, that one, that thing. I don't want it pulled backwards because it will damage the tank. Another thing on my tank, I'm not touching my tank, I'm just gonna just gonna leave it. And if I do come to paint anything, I'll just if I do decide to paint my tank, I, apparently I need to strip it all down, all the paint off. And um paint off and repaint it all and if I do that I'm going to go for a different colour so for now proper maintenance stuff first that's all I'm doing I reckon I need to get the tank off as well don't I? yeah oh no I don't just drop bolts out, didn't I? Off now. I'll give it. There we are. I'll keep it under there as well, isn't it? I'll keep it there. One bolt for the clip on. New to it.
Matthews, what's up? These are just the peach bolts, I'm not lumping them all the way. So that's that bit loose. Inside, I can do something here. As I go through these, I'll, uh, I'll post the torque settings up. So we know. I'll do that in tomorrow's video. Just get the torque settings sorted. So I know what to torque everything to. It's in the aim manual anyway, so. Because of the pin that goes up the rear set, you can't really get them at the wrong angle, so that's not too bad. Ones out the way, so they don't keep bashing the tank like they were. Now, I'm hopefully going to sort out a, uh, a decent um, what's it with this as well. Uh, try to sort the settings out for the suspension. I don't think that's going to come down far enough at all. Thank 
that down there and not hurting anything. Just wedge them open a little bit. Just wedge them open a little tiny bit, and then I need to push that one up because what I think I should do. If you look all the way with the forks as far as I can. And then at least <coughs> that'll give me a lot of a lot more room than I had to drop the steering stem off and do I can undo the top nut here for steering stem. Right. So what I'm going to do is uh, just crack the steering stem nut off. Give me a fighting chance to get drop it out because now I've lifted the forks all the way up. As far as I would dare go, that should just drop off now. He says. Bar joyous, joyous. Where is it? I do have one somewhere. I think it might be back at work. muscles right, that's got a, an aluminium nut on top and a washer underneath make sure you don't lose them One problem we're going to come across into it. It's going to be uh, hard to get all the way up now. See? And just like that. Just like that, it's out the way. Got to unplug the unplug it on. Right, don't watch this, don't copy this me. I have not got a C spanner anywhere. So I'm just gently tapping these off. Sorry for everyone who you will see this, the incorrect way of doing it. That's all I've got. I'm sure there's meant to be a crush washer in there, a washer or something in between as well. I'll have to have a look at that so I can get one ordered. And again, sorry about that. Not hitting it too hard.
could use a what's it a circuit circuit uh, pliers, but I haven't got any. Can you? bashing it using the soft hammer as well I think these have been done before and just not tightened up because that wasn't tight at all so I'll check then before I change anything Slowly lower it down. Don't get anything caught like that. Don't get anything caught as it's coming down. There we go. Just like that. We're out. Just lie them down for now. I don't want them to go anywhere. And now what I'm going to do is keep the sides out of the way. And to leave the pins up, but I can't fill in. Oh, the frame is, you know, you know what I mean. So what I'm going to do is systematically all the front first, all this stuff first, put it all back together, take the tank off and do the valve tight the valve clearances then, just to get at the engine. From the and you, know, you get at it from the top. So that's all I'm going to do. And now all that's out of the way, I can put this underneath it, can it? He can look see. Oh, I can. I can. I can't. Let me jack him up a bit more. Only a tad that was. No, it won't. So these are the old style bearings, these are ball bearings. But, uh, let's have a look. There they are, the old style bearings, I'll change them anyway. I think they're the old style bearings. I've got roller bearings, these are ball bearings I believe. No, I need that there. See this is what I'm on about, it's got, I've got this. That goes up obviously to hold the 
to stand on. So obviously to hold the stem on. And I've seen other bikes, I don't know about this one, I've seen other bikes with a, a washer that goes there, over the top, over, into them t uh, tabs there, and two other tabs coming up and you put that on top. So I'll have a look into that. But it was just like that. Right, so put an axle stand underneath it, under the head, load it down on it. So it shouldn't be going anywhere now. What I'll do is tomorrow I'll start hitting the race out here. It's not going to come all the way out because of the axle stand. So if I start it, then I should have enough purchase on it when it's just on the on the jack I don't recommend you do it but it's the only choice I had I'll just put a block of wood under the engine it's not it's not secure on that it's secured on that well, most of the weight's on there so it's kind of sharing if you know what I mean that's just a, a bit of coolant dripping out put that back in eh? All the bits and bobs are secured on to the frame so they aren't swinging round and now what I'll do is I'll wait till tomorrow to weld a nut onto this and try to get it off straight away because all the heat will be transferred into that into that into the thread itself and then should help me get it off, I'll clean it off a bit first to get a better weld um, now that breathing again uh, what I can start doing is uh, polishing them down use a, a fine uh, wet and dry I think I think I might just polish up anyway I'm not sure and then what I'll do I'll take my forks to work take the, the bottom triple tree or yoke whatever you want to call it off to get this race out of the way and press the new one on and also I'll get that off that off there and get some new pins ordered so for now that will do the only reason i'm waiting to weld the uh, onto there is because i don't know if there's any fuel in because it's not the petrol that lights up it's the vapor of the petrol that lights up and i don't want to i believe anyway that's what i've been told and you can correct me if you want i don't really care i'm going to wait a day to do that just because of that so i've got enough room there now to get something in and try to uh, weld it on yeah and the uh, just horrible mess there on top of the oil filter don't know what that is oh, that's just blanket oil here's my tank it 